Alright, uh, welcome back. So um, this is the um, continuation for the Easy VR. So um, I'll walk you through how I managed to do the, uh, the Easy VR uh, demo earlier. So first, beforehand, uh, I'm going to show you this. Uh, this is where the module actually were bought. And um, in regards to the documentations, uh, user manual for more information refer to this so um basically we need so sort of three softwares um the first is the ecvr so basically um when you click that and then you would have to download the ecvr software extract it and then of course install it and then you would come up with the two softwares which is the quick sensory senses and the ecvr commander those are the things that you need and um, for the voice uh, of the drone, or you know, uh, the voice output, um, I did uh, a text to speech. So I downloaded a software called um, Text to Wave. Um, so basically, like you know, when you have a text there and then you'll convert it to sound, or oh, let's say system. Um, yeah, so with this software, it would convert it into a dot wave file. So let's put it um, test and then it would save it into a repository. So make sure that the um, the audio file are the audio files are um, dot wave files. So uh, store them into um, a folder that you, that you know and then open this so um, the quick synthesis let's just say that um, we go to quick synthesis program and when you open a file you open a new project you open new actually no 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 that was wrong when you actually run this you have to run it as an administrator otherwise the compilation of the audio audio files will not work um, so that's that. So when you actually open or create a new project, press OK, uh, no file, um, test, and then once you manage to um, get all the voice, you know, audio files done, you basically just upload them here. So we press this button here. And then we go to the uh, voice recognition file. So it, all of them are that waves file, that wave file. So to get you an example, um, click battery level, and then I normally select the eight bit. Okay, and then build or oh, test it. Battery level ninety percent. Okay. So um, we build that, stick with these settings, and then press OK. And it will come up with a dialog box, and you just press OK, and it will compile it for you. Done. And then with the call that, uh, Easy VR, you have to upload the bridge file first. So basically, when you download the Easy VR library, let me go to my library. Example, bridge. You have to upload um, the Easy VR bridge to the Arduino first, and then once you uploaded that, you let me show you. You know the the pins. This um. Uh, the, this pin right here, you have to connect it to the up. I'm not sure if you can see that. So there is like SWH, WPC, and up. You swap that to up and then connect it back. And you go to, uh, well, select the appropriate com port and then uh, upload file and then update custom data 
the import uh, the test that was just done and then I load it okay what just happened let me do that again So import samples. Cancel that. Let me do it again. Um, ZBR commander. And then file. Make sure you're not connected to um, ZBR first. And then you update some data import and then you go for the file that you just created earlier so the file that we had it had a um, audio file uh, that mentioned battery level 90 percent something like that and then um, press download it's doing download fail i don't know why um i haven't had this problem before Download the bridge. Now, okay. So I'm gonna upload the EasyVR bridge. Okay, so that's what's that's what's happening. Where is there? Is there? Comfort doesn't exist. So something went wrong with this comfort. to redo the video.